Good morning, I'm Sam. And I'm Devin. Today is Tuesday, February 13th. Please follow your A schedule. There is an outdoor track and field informational meeting at 2.30 in D100 across from the weight room today. Come find out what Q-Town Track and Field is all about. Comic Club will meet today after school from 2.15 to 3.15 with Mrs. Migliori in C100. All are welcome. The high school softball team will be holding a donut sale immediately after school today. Celebrate Foshnot Day by purchasing donuts for $1 each or $10 a dozen. Thank you for your support. Attention Key Club members, our next general membership is tomorrow in the cafeteria directly after school. Come out to vote for next year's leadership team and to hear about new volunteer opportunities. See you there. Attention fans of The Office, if you love the show and think you really know it, come out to Office Trivia now on Thursday to contend for your very own Dundee Award. The cost is $30 per team of three to six people. Forms are available in the main office in Mr. Sandley's room, and all proceeds will be donated to the local YMCA. 12th grade students who are applying to the Bucks County Nurse Scholarship, please get your completed applications to Mrs. Regan by February 23rd. Students interested in the Quakertown Citizens Police Academy can fill out an application now. The eight-week course begins March 6th and applications are in Officer Lee's office. As you can see, there is bobsledding going on at the Olympics and Nick will tell us all about it. Thank you, Sam and Devin. Nick here with all the current sports news. One thing is for sure is you will never catch me going that fast. Currently, the United States is in fifth place in the Winter Olympics with three gold medals, one silver, and two bronze medals. Now for local high school news, our wrestling team won their league last night after beating Wissahickon. Also, our bowling team is currently going to a bowling tournament, which will determine if they will qualify for regionals. Now on the Philly news, the Flyers will have home ice advantage tonight against the New Jersey Devils in a crucial game for second place in the Metropolitan Division. The next three divisional games against the Devils, Blue Jackets, and Rangers are crucial for a potential playoff run for the Broad Street Bullies. Claude Giroux said the Eagles winning the Super Bowl gave them a little extra push to get a taste of another Philly championship. Maybe in the spring, Broadshirt will be packed again, but with orange instead. That does it for the sports news. I'm Nick. Now back to Sam and Devin with the regular news. Thank you, Nick. So, for the first time in a long time, two American teenagers got gold medals in the Winter Olympics. One of them being 17-year-old Chloe Kim, who is a snowboarder, and was listening to Lady Gaga as she claimed her victory. The other was 17-year-old Red Gerard, and he is the first or the youngest man to win an Olympic gold since wow. 1928. So that's wow. pretty impressive. A long time. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Devin. And I'm Sam. Have a great day.